If you own a non-custodial wallet, you may have been asked to secure your seed phrase or private key. Even though these terms seem rather similar, do you know that there's actually some differences between them? Let's first go through what a private key actually is. Every crypto wallet will always have a public and private key. A public key is similar to an email address where anyone can send their funds over to the wallet address that is derived from your public key. Meanwhile, the private key is like the password to your email account. Due to encryption in the wallet, it is not possible for anyone to derive your private key from the public key. However, anyone who has access to your private key will actually have full control of your entire wallet. A private key is used to sign any transaction, such as sending your funds to another wallet or swapping them to another token. As such, it is important to keep your private key secure and not share it with anyone. The main problem with a private key is that it actually contains a long string of letters and numbers. This can be extremely hard for someone to write down and the chances of a transcribing error is very high. You may notice that when you are performing any transactions using a hot wallet like Metamask, you are not required to enter your private key to sign every transaction. Instead, you are actually using a password to unlock your Metamask wallet and you will be able to sign any transactions after you have unlocked it. This could also be the main reason why a seed phrase was developed. A seed phrase may sometimes be referred to as a secret recovery phrase or a mnemonic seed. A seed phrase is a string of 12 or 24 words. They are derived from the BIP39 standard word list. There are 2048 words on this list, so it is almost impossible for anyone to generate the exact same seed phrase as the one that you own. Since the seed phrase is a string of words, it makes it much easier for you to write it down and use it to recover your wallet. The unique feature of the seed phrase is that it actually acts as a vault that stores multiple private keys. Every private key will always be tagged to one individual wallet, so a seed phrase is actually able to store multiple wallets. What's more, these private keys will always be generated in sequence. You can actually try this out by going to this private key generator. If you are looking to play around with this tool, I would suggest using a test seed phrase and not the ones where you own your funds. This is because the site may not actually be secure and there could be some malware that records down your personal seed phrase. If you generate a random seed phrase, you may notice that there are multiple private keys that are tagged to this same seed phrase. What's more, these private keys are always in sequence, so whenever you import this seed phrase, the first wallet address that you see will always be tagged to this first private key. The same also applies for all private keys down the line, where it will always be in sequence. Another unique thing about the seed phrase is that it allows you to store private keys across multiple networks. Each different blockchain network may have its own specific wallet address, which comes with its own public and private keys. If you toggle through the different networks, you may notice that the private key for your Ethereum wallets are actually different from those from your Dogecoin or Bitcoin wallet across multiple networks. It is even more important for you to keep your seed phrase safe. If a hacker gets control of one private key, only one account will be compromised. However, if they get access to your seed phrase, they are able to access any private keys that are tagged to this seed phrase and they can drain your funds from multiple wallets. All of this may be a bit confusing, so let's go through some examples with different non-custodial wallets. The most common wallet will be Metamask. And when you create a brand new wallet, you will be given a secret recovery phrase. The very first wallet in Metamask is actually the first private key that is tagged to this seed phrase. Metamask also gives you the option to add multiple accounts. What this does is that it actually adds the next private key of that same seed phrase. Metamask also gives you the option to import an account. However, you won't be able to import via a seed phrase and you can only do so via a private key. I would think that this is because Metamask does not want to confuse you. If you are managing multiple seed phrases and you do not know which private key is being tagged to which seed phrase, as a result, you are only able to import individual wallets via their private key. Although Metamask actually allows you to add multiple networks, all of them are EVM compatible and they actually share the same wallet address. This same concept can also be applied to the Phantom wallet, which currently supports the Solana network but may be expanding to Ethereum and Polygon in the future. When you create a new wallet of Phantom, you will be given a seed phrase as well. Similar to Metamask, this wallet address that you see is derived from the first wallet address that is tagged to this seed phrase. Phantom also allows you to add additional accounts, which will be the next few private keys down the line. If you are looking to import another external wallet, you will only be able to do so via a private key. The interesting thing comes when you are using Trust Wallet, which is a multi-coin or multi-chain wallet. This means that one single wallet can support multiple networks, each with their own wallet addresses. When you create a wallet on Trust Wallet, you are creating a multi-coin wallet by default. You will be given a seed phrase, and you may notice that you can access multiple wallets with the same seed phrase. You will be able to view your Bitcoin and Ethereum wallet addresses, where each of them has its own individual private key. In the case of Trust Wallet, you are actually not able to add additional accounts. This means that all of the wallet addresses that you see here come from the very first private keys that are tagged to this seed phrase. If you actually add another multi-coin wallet, you'll be issued with a totally different seed phrase. This whole concept can still be quite confusing and if you still have any questions about it, please let me know down in the comments. So far, I've only experienced one drawback from this arrangement and this was when I was creating my Steppen wallet. Steppen allows you to import a wallet via a seed phrase but it does not allow you to add additional accounts within that same seed phrase. This means that you'll only be able to view the first wallet address that is tagged to 
this seed phrase. I actually had my funds that was tagged to the second private key of that seed phrase. I was unable to access my funds and I had to create a brand new wallet. Whenever you're importing your private key or seed phrase to a brand new wallet, I would suggest double checking the wallet addresses to ensure that they are the same. If both of them are similar, this means that you have imported the same wallet and all of your funds should be accessible by this brand new wallet. There are actually quite a few wallet address formats and you can check out my video here where I explain some of the more common ones.